Do you know what it is? I, I promise you, yeah. Are we in? We might as well be in. Do you know what? I swear there is a generation. This is interesting. I'll tell you why it's quite interesting, yeah? Because I don't know. I, this, I could be wrong in saying this. I could be wrong in saying this, yeah? Um, or maybe it has happened. Maybe somewhere down the line it has happened, yeah? But like, you see with hip hop, for example, yeah? There's like a whole back catalog of hip hop albums, artists, and stuff that was going on from since the late 70s, 80s. Like, do you know what I mean? That's been going on for a minute, yeah? And then obviously you have like the fanatics, the people that are in it, the people that love it, the people that also l like love the new generation of it, yeah? But you see like, I feel like maybe a lot of the new generational people that love rap music don't necessarily go back and listen to the old shit like that because they don't really care about it. They weren't there, they don't, it's not really their thing. Do you get what I'm saying? They just like what they like now, which is normal because we've always kind of been like that to a degree, yeah? But what I feel like I've noticing with R&B is, yeah, there is a lot of people that are a lot younger that wasn't around when certain tunes came out. Mm. They weren't around, but they are mad curious in to what was going on. And is that definitely trying to listen to it, bro? Yeah, I mean, and, yeah, but how, where would they? EA is an example of that. Not that you're like a super young buck like that, but you're not an R and you an R and B head like that. That so, bro, we were playing music Soul Child at the end of the pod the other day, and EA's just said, "A man was listening to this music Soul Child." <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know that's actually funny to me because even with music Soul Child, yeah, music Soul Child is a guy. But he's not like, it's not like you're saying to me, oh, do you know what? Like I was listening to Donnell Jones or, you know, like, I don't know, like another, like a, like a, a another genuine, icon that is a lot more bait. Yeah, genuine. Or like Joe. genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like, I was listening to genuine or some shit. If you like, like music, Soul Child, you know. But like, that's why I said it was funny because when he came, me and Chucky were at the concert. We didn't plan to. Got it together. I just bumped into Jackie. It was one of the oh, things. Oh, what? Yeah, like, music, Soul Child. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, one of the things yeah. where he likes him, I like him. We went, it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. shit. That was when he tried Sick to rap. But, uh, <laughs> Mr. Hustle, his name, I saw your yeah, video. Yeah. His name was Mr. Hustle. He said, guys, I've been working on this new, couple of new tunes. Um, obviously, you lot are fans of Music Soul Child. Let me show you my new my new little vibe. He's gone backstage. I think he changed. He came He up. did. He did. But man just did. started rapping. I'm like, but no one was buying it. No. Because he's like, this ain't Not what we came for, bro. one single person in there. <laughs> this ain't what we came but for. But do, do you know what it was, yeah? Just to give extra context, it was at a time where nothing really was happening with R&B. And so he's come from being like a guy early on, yeah. Then it's like, there's a, a, a weird period where like nothing's happening with it. Also, it might have even have been in that period where in even on the UK, the, ran, the man were making questionable music. It was music. Drake, it was man. It was Drake. Drake was giving this whole, yeah, you can sing, but you can rap too. That's true, yeah, I hear So that. Bear singers are I like, oh, that. I can rap because Bear man tried rapping, you know. Trey Songz tried it. Um, cause I downloaded a couple. That's why I'm gonna lie. Jason's okay. gonna rap. Yeah, yeah, I downloaded a couple. <laughs> yeah. So he jumped in his bag. And I was like, okay, cool. Then it was kind of like the vibe where like some rappers were singing. So he thought, ah, right, let me step into it, brother. Allow me. It's like Fifty Cent coming out and say, oh, I got a couple R&B tunes, and he's singing. It's like, it's yeah, like he's really trying. Yeah, to like sing. we're not we're not here for that. But yeah. And or it's not meek, like we've or heard meek or meek try. Yeah, to but that. also it's not like we've heard a couple of songs and thought, oh, it was all right. This was like the first time I've heard him. Yeah. I've, I've I've heard rumors of him saying, oh, I'm rapping, but I didn't take it seriously. I just thought he was in the booth throwing a couple of verses down and it's like, oh, I can rap. No, yeah. he was performing and everyone was like, nah. 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it did, didn't work. <laughs> but but you know what? Just going back to the point, no, I, I genuinely believe that that's, that is what's happening though. I feel like enough, pe enough people are like, love what's going on at the moment with new stuff. Scissor, Summer Walker, Mooney Long, all of that, yeah. But like, when they hear some of the older stuff, they're like, yeah, do you know what? What is that? Also, I, I did say it when we went to... Um... And continue to listen to it. Where did we go? I don't know if you I remember, and when we was in our hotel room, there was a bell that kept going off. Like, I think there was a church or cathedral near, nearby. 
can't remember. I can't remember. You've just been you've just been everywhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember recording the video saying, um, I miss the days where a man used to do the ugly face to sing. Is that R and B where man used to, like when man used to really tell you that they loved you on songs? Oh yeah. Now we're in this toxic era where it's like you're, you're, you're finding creative ways to kind of let the girl know she's important to you, but you don't really care about her. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like bro, which, 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 which one is it? But back in the day, man, I say, yo, see last night, I, I felt the stars, bro. I felt the moon. Yeah. All yeah. they did was have sex, you know. No, I hear it. Do you know what? Is some of it's there still, but I think maybe the the maybe the issue is yeah in this day. No one don't want to sound soft, so they're still singing, but they still need to do the Be hard. Yeah, <laughs> and let's see that all, that always goes back to like the thing that we've mentioned so many times: man, them doing things for man. man them. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, it's be soft, bro. <laughs> like, be soft today. Like, obviously, do some of that, but be soft. Every man has a moment where man's soft, bro. Why? Mm. But you get what I'm saying, like. <laughs> Everyone, everyone has that. Everyone has that. It's so relatable. Yeah, in twenty four hours, I'm more soft than I'm hard. To be fair. <laughs> wow. In a, in an average twenty four hours, just saying. Take that however you want. Take that however you want. That is true, though. It's true. Yeah, it is true. Scientifically, is 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 healthy too. <coughs> it's healthier. Yeah. It's it is healthier. Have you ever had a? I don't even sound mad. Huh? See, you know what started. Going started. <laughs> no, but you know. <laughs> But have you ever had a boner to the point we've had a bellyache? Is that just me? No, it's not a bellyache. It's um, they call it blue balls, but I, it's your kidneys, no? It's kidneys. No, as in like whatever is above. Yeah, up here. Yeah, 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 yeah above aching. You know, one time, <laughs> one time, yeah. This was years ago. Um, wait, is this? Um, this looks like it's angled this way, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Chucky's not in the middle. Um, he's always just left of center. Well, oh, is it? Rule of third? Yeah. So Come on, I've been paying attention, you know. Can I adjust later on? Um, oh, do, you do you adjust it in post? Yeah. That's cool, it's all right, it's fine. Um, years ago, I was, this is when I first moved out, right? And then I had a vibes and whatnot with somebody. And obviously I'm a lipsers, innit? So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely down for that. But we was lipsing for we was lipsing until the sun came up, bro. Yeah, I had them R and B ones. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been there before. Though. I told my story after. Yeah, lipsing the whole, we was lipsing the whole way through, but there was no. It wasn't that. I weren't getting the panan bread wasn't on the menu. Put it that way. Mm. But it always felt like it was on the menu. So you know, like when it's like nearly there, but it's not. It's yeah. nearly there, but it's not. And so when it's nearly there, but it's not, your, your, um, the sausage is going through all of these emotional roller coasters. Because right one minute it's on the cards, then it's not. Then it's on the cards, then it's not. This was going on for, going on for the whole night. Brother, when it got to about four in the morning, five in the morning, yeah, my belly was aching. <laughs> aching. <laughs> Listen, I was in a pickle. I was roasted, yeah. I'm, oh my goodness. Well, to, to be me. fair, it's kind of a good thing you didn't, though, because in, um, in them settings, yeah, brother, you would have got the bread and you would have just collapsed in like 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. What? Do you know what? Because Too -too it took friction. so long. <laughs> yeah. Because it took so long. Had I have got it then, it would have just been. It wouldn't have. You would uh, said, "Yo, listen, round two, man, round two. Don't yeah, but that was never really my steez. Don't put me in a group chat. Huh? You yeah, put me in a group chat for that. Round two. Back then. Well, you weren't in round two. Br big man. That's not me. But I, <laughs> like occasionally now. <laughs> nah. Nah, do you know why? No, do you know why? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to. Yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, reason why, why, Yeah, bro, that's me. No, but the reason why I say that is because no, I, it's, it can happen, but it's not like it's not part of it's not part of the package. It's not a do you know what today we're gonna vibes and whatnot and then like we're gonna go for some rounds. Rounds? My thing is let me just get it done. To, 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 to like in this sesh and then we'll see what happens in the morning oh no 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 my my first round i know is half hearted that's crazy. i know for a fact it's half because but i don't know when it's coming we're, we're both just as surprised but we'll let, when it's coming let it come though because i got round two round two is where it's like yo <laughs> yeah you can work 
You could work. You might fall in love with me, man, and I don't want you to. So. You could work. You could work. If you go round three, hey, listen. The round three? The bread is booming what, in, over. In you, know you, to, you know you go to the Turkish restaurants and it just... It just, <laughs> 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 it just breaks softly. That's what that is. But what, in, what, get ti- four, in what time period? The though? same night. Jeez. So Bro- what? Like, so what? 12, then maybe two. We say midnight. Yeah, 12 at night, and then what, two? Well, it could be 12 and then, depending on when I finish, it could be 20 minutes straight after. What? It could be, depends on, that's what, yeah. you see me, yeah? I, I get you. The, the maximum is four. The reason why maximum is four is because four. Four? four Nuts four, as well? Yes. Four. Crazy. You're going to work the next day mad chirpy. And then this, the text is going to be, oh, when am I seeing you next? I don't really want that because it's like, you can't just speed back and then I'm giving you five. It's not, do you know what I mean? So four, I rarely go to four because I'm just not trying to, you know, you're trying to keep someone's hopes up. Yeah. I, so, I don't want to do that. So three is the max, but three is, two three is perfect for me. That's a good night. Do you know what that sounds like to me? This is what it sounds like to me, yeah. It sounds like, it sounds like parties and after parties. This is how I'm looking <laughs> at it. So see my thing, let me tell you something, yeah. See, mine, usually, especially at this stage, now, yeah, my one is R&B and slow jams. Once it's done at 11, you've left on a high. No, 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 but, <laughs> no, but, no, no, but you're getting you... to after parties. No, 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 no. So you're looking at it wrong because what? there's a pre-party. Oh, you're looking at the... You're giving oh, pre-party. okay. He's giving you're pre-party. I'm giving pre-party, <laughs> party and after party. Okay. And then you might get the, the after, after party. <laughs> you know when fair people have left and you don't want to go to your yard? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Mine's just R&B and slow jam. Yours that, is the drink the up. equivalent. In the yard. The drink up? No, mine's the main event. It's not, bro. It's the main... To you, baby. Bro, it's the main event. Oh, is it? It's the main event. So you event. missed the pre-party? I missed the pre-party. Oh, so you're going straight for the, the, the cure? Yeah, like, my, I'll be, like, I'll be, like, no, like, I don't want to do all of that. But what I will say is, yeah, <laughs> my, f- <laughs> like, my first one. Is the strong one. Is, like, it's good. Like, it's, it's like, mine's not a, I don't have, the, very, very rarely do I have the situation where on the first thing it's collapse quick and all mm. of that. It's not, that doesn't, and, and especially there's times, yeah, where, big and serious, and I know that there's probably a lot of guys that might relate to this, actually where you go into a slam dunking, yeah? And you think, do you know what? You get a little bit paranoid because you might think, right, I haven't let it go for a minute or whatever it may be. And that like, you think it might be quick, yeah? But then for whatever reason, once the thing starts, you start thinking, start realizing, oh wait, hold on. There's a lot of fuel in this tank. Like I can keep, I can go. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So sometimes even in the moments where in my mind, there's a little bit of like, not anxiousness, but it's like shit. You know, like, okay, big and serious, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> why do you look so shocked? Because when he says big and serious, he's going to say something. But you know, like. But he needs to, it's, it's just lads having a yeah, convo. Yeah, exactly. But you know, like, there's times where the, the thing gets strong, mm. but then when it gets strong, it feels like it could just explode yeah, yeah, yeah. without nothing happening. Mm. So that happens, isn't it? Like, that, when you, because that's where the anxiety a little bit comes, because you think, rah, shit. Like the things just become solid, and all of a sudden it's just it, it feels like it could just go. But for me, once we start, for whatever reason, that's gone now, mm. and I'm in. Now it's just about how we get to your thing, how what you like, and then we can get to that, and then boom, that's me. No, and I then didn't... if yeah, in the worst case scenario, that it's collapse quick first time, then second time will. Like, but two you know, things though. First one, what you're saying is true, but I do still believe that one, you should communicate with who you're having sex with 100. and then let them know that, listen, round one isn't going to be what you think it is. Especially sometimes girls go down and they have a great time on the first round. I'm like, listen, you're going to get to a point where you're going to want to sit on it. I'm done. <laughs> the moment you, it's done. So mind what you're doing. I, I always let them know. Because then don't look at me be like, oh, you only lasted 20 seconds. Babes, you was going in. You did a good job. Yeah. It's only right that I, I got to the finish line. Yeah, I'm, don't, don't look at me like I'm the bad guy. Yeah, you yeah, did a yeah, great yeah, job. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then there's also, because of that, I can't not go to sleep and just let it be that. Ego. I, I want to return the favour. Of course. Do you know what I mean? So. But see, we were talking about like the communication thing. Communication is important. 
But again, without sounding mad or whatnot, yeah. The way that it has been, I've not needed to communicate anything because there's not, ne- there's never been a problem. No, no, no I know. So, so, my, so the way that my thing is set is that like, we, the chances are that when we go, it's not going to be, the first thing is not going to be a, an issue. However, if it is an issue, then I have, I would communicate. Don't, yeah. babes, don't worry. I got you on the back end. And then also, again, like, this is not me going into anyone's business, but you know how you're communicating with your women. If after the session, days after you're texting and the text is all lovely and jubbly, then you've done a great job. 100. If it's, mm, oh, sorry, I'm busy. I yeah. didn't see your message. If it's all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did do a good job so you know like when men go on a women's podcast and women are like oh you know that there's an orgasm gap and mm. how do you know that the girl that you had sex with had an orgasm but I was there what do you mean I was yeah. there I saw like, I know I did a good job but sometimes you're not allowed to say that because it's like but what if she's lying but also there are like so this is the thing yeah I, I know I believe strongly, wholeheartedly, I know what it looks like for a woman to have an <laughs> orgasm. 100%. The thing is, I know that there's going to be women out there that say, yeah, but how do you... Yeah, do exactly. You That's what I hear saying, what yeah. I'm saying. I believe that I know. Yeah. yeah. However, there's two things at play here, yeah? There's one serious and one jokey. One is that if somebody, if the way that I've seen it happen and whatever else, yeah, has not been real, then I'm like, you deserve, you deserve an Oscar for that. Yeah. You deserve an Oscar, but that is more on you because to put in that much effort to to pretend to pretend no, that's it, that's is it. bonkers. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, <laughs> but they do that. They, they do do that though. They do do that. But firstly, you can't like, fake I know the leg, what, man. I know what that looks like. But also, there are times though with for some women that they just can't. It's difficult for them. Do you get me? And like, if I have sensed in my time that someone has been finding it difficult or whatnot. I don't force the issue. And more, and most definitely, I'm not telling them that's what I want. Because you know what? If you say to a woman, go on in, babes, come for me. Now you're putting her on mad pressure. No, but Chucky, thinking, wait well, I... Now he's waiting. No. He's waiting and now she's got... No, but Chucky, to... I, got, I got to interject. Because there's been times where sometimes that is the kicker right. for the girl. Yeah. So cause I'm not gonna. I've said it many times. I'm not really someone who moans and groans. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that guy in it. But you're not there's, a silent nut bastard. No, not silent. No, no. But when it okay. comes to like climax, the Strong. noise is there. But I'm talking about in between. I'm <laughs> okay. not. I'm not giving. But some sometimes like she's doing a good job. So I find myself doing it, and it's giving her the kick. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, for you, maybe this is what you want for you. So when I'm now doing what I'm doing to her, sometimes she needs a little whisper in the ear. No, so that okay, so you misinterpreted what I'm saying, yeah. No, I'm saying that the, I would, no, I'm saying that the, I would do that. That is a thing, but the actual words. No, like, yes, I'm doing to... that. I'm doing that. I'm okay. saying okay. So when you're ready, let me know. You're gonna come for me, and before you know it, they're like, oh, they just need that kick. It's not. It's not the same. Just doing what you're doing, and it's quiet. Yeah. Sometimes they need the noise, and the noise might be words. Yeah. Where it's like, go on then. I can see you want to go there. Let me take you there. Right. Let's go. So me, I'm, I will talk and communicate because I understand that the talking can do that. Mm. But sometimes the reason why I don't say those words, unless I know it's fully on the cards, is because sometimes for some of them, I think it can put a pressure on them to do it. So the talking is more, if the talking gets you excited, then you're going to get there. And if it looks like it's happening, then I'm going to say it. I do. But I won't say it beforehand because I don't want to put the pressure on them to feel like they have to do it. I right, do me a favour. Next right. time you're in that stage where you you both feel like you're in autopilot, you say, I'm going to come. You mean, I'm going to do yeah. that? Oh, I even, do that. No, even if you're not, no, even if you're not, just say it. Oh, of course. All of a sudden, she's like, oh, I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly. You're like, wait, what? It's, like, it's just a trigger. I've seen it happen so many times. It's like, I'm not even there yet, but I'm like, but you can't just keep riding. Let's really? No, nah, but I feel like whenever I've said that, or more time, then what they do is they go into this thing of, okay, is that where you're going? I'm gonna speak what I'm gonna say everything I need to say for you to then get to your highest place in frequency. But in doing that, they get there. Not necessarily. Some well, for me, sometimes they get there. They get oh, there. Yeah. And it's just like, now they've got there, now I can go there. This is me being selfless and then being selfish. Interesting. But I've only done it because it's, it's trial and error. I've only done it because it's worked. Right. Obviously, it doesn't work for everyone. There's yeah. some, there's some where you're driving, you're driving the car too fast. They're like, nah, slow down. Yeah, and yeah. And there's yeah. some you're driving slow. They're like, nah, speed it up. So everyone's different. It's trying. Yeah, to of course. 
But like in, I think in general, there are just some women that just genuinely, even in some level of comfortability, they just find it very difficult to. And that might be because, that might be because of, you know, blockages. So if someone could be really like comfortable with you, but there could still be a, like a really deep blockage somewhere. That blockage could be <clears throat> something that they might not even be necessarily aware of, but it could be something that's happened from like before. Yeah. Or, do you know what I mean? There's just like, there's something in there that doesn't necessarily allow that to, for them to get there. Mm. They might even find it difficult themselves to do it. Do you know what I mean? But either way, I think that my point being is that it's something that I always would love for a, a person that I'm with to experience. But, and I always, yeah, I always want that to happen, but I'm not gonna, I won't put too much pressure on someone to do it. But it's, let's talk about, while we're here actually, let's talk about the anxiety of having sex though. Cause I actually think that there are um, a lot of people, like a lot of guys in particular, that do face a bit of anxiety in having sex. And I don't think that that is being talked about enough. I think that like, it might come down to the fact that I think, did me and you talk about this before? Where it's like, not much, maybe it's a private conversation, but not a lot of guys are having sex like that, that, you know? Yeah, it was, um, I don't know if it was a private convo, but we were speaking about the um, the podcast where the guy was highlighting the stats and he was basically saying that, I think I think this was in America, but like half of the guys in America that can participate in the study didn't have sex that yeah. particular year. So when, when women are talking like, yeah, but it's easy for you. <laughs> it's not. No. Nah. It's not. Well, it's, one, easy, it's easier for a woman to have sex with somebody, but but, I, yeah, but, you, but it just doesn't mean that the, it's the people that they want to have sex yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas, and the same with the men. Well, so I think it's different because I think it. it's harder for men to have sex because I think men would be more likely, oh, do you know what? Let's go into this theory that I say all the time, yeah? I'm not saying that this is right, mm. but I'm just saying, this is the society that we're in at the moment, yeah? If a man goes to Oxford Street, a regular Don goes to Oxford Street right now and then just says to women, come around the corner, Jordan. Do you wanna go and have sex? A lot of the time, the majority of the time, a woman is gonna look at that and say, what the fuck are you talking about? Or she's just gonna continue to just keep walking. If, if you put a woman in Oxford Street, she doesn't even have to be attractive, but you put her in Oxford Street and you say, get her to say to her man, do you want to come around the corner? I'll give you some neck. Man ain't going to be looking at her like... Where's the cameras? Wait, is there a camera? <laughs> if there isn't a camera, you know what, come on in. And the reason being is because for whatever reason, a woman has the door and the key to this particular door. A man can't just go to a woman and say to a woman, I'm going to have sex with you tonight and that's going to run. But a lot of the time, a woman can say to a man, I, uh, the average guy, I'm like, I want to have sex with you or let's go and have sex and they will, they will do it. And I think it's just maybe got a lot to do with the fact that, see with women, when it comes down to like a woman saying, oh, like it's hard to, to find someone to sleep with. It's because they're not just talking about the sexual activity. They're talking about a person that they can kind of, like reason with. reason with whatever and feel comfortable with to do that with. Yeah. Whereas with a man, we are comfortable or would find ourselves comfortable in most situations to be able to just go and do it. Adding to the fact that you're not getting it a lot. But that's why I say yeah, that because it's that easy, at least try and go for a woman that you like. So it's, it's more meaningful when you get to that stage. Yeah, but, but maybe that's just But enough man can't age talking. Fine, enough man can't, it's not simple like that for No, no, one. you're saying it's not simple, but a lot of the hurdles that man are facing is mm. because maybe the girl's saying, you have to take me out. Oh. You have to spend time with me. Like, right. You got to put in, do you know what I'm saying? In order for that moment to be, got mean you. something, you got to spend time. And I'm not saying go out and waste money because that's what it translates to, to a lot of man. Oh, I got to spend money. No, bro, you can find creative ways, but then there's this argument that, yeah, but if I don't spend X amount, she's not going to take me seriously, and da 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 da. And I just think that just gets lost on social media where you, when you it. actually meet people and you vibe with each other, you're not really talking about money. It's more no, about the time. But then, you know what? Let's look at, let's look at, let's look at another <laughs> aspect. Then. Let's dig a little bit deeper then. 
Because you're right. I hear exact. I hear exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Sorry, and in saying that, sorry to cut you. And in saying that, the more time that you spend, the anxiety lowers. Is what I'm, the point I'm trying to get at. Right. So going to the anxiety. The anxiety is you don't know this person. You don't know what she likes. So of course, when you get into the bedroom, you're not going to know what to do. Bear man, I'm going in and just going. Brother, relax. <laughs> Chill out, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's because you haven't spent time to get to know what she likes, what you like, where you feel comfortable. Even like just getting naked in front of someone you don't know. It's a bit mad, you know? Yeah, that's the anxiety part. Oh, it's a bit mad, you know? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. people just do it sometimes. You're just like, okay. And then after, it's, it's bare awkward. It's just like, so that's anxiety throughout. Even though you've had sex, there's still anxiety in... Are we chilling? Are you leaving? But like, what do you? Is all of that stuff you just miss all of that by just spending time before the fact talking about. I don't see. Again, I said it on the pod before. People will rather have sex with you than talk about the sex you're about to have. I don't understand that. <laughs> like, what is going on? Mm. Do you know what I mean? They'll rather do it than talk about it. That's the taboo, right? That's the, it's not above his me. It's the awkwardness of. But that's that leads to the anxiety we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what, if you don't if you don't if have you don't, a conversation about it and you're not talking about it, then it can add to an element of the anxiety. You missed a part because I was saying oh, to just to just to um just to like dig a little bit deeper, I was talking about like anxiety anxiety with having sex from a man's point of view. Yeah. Mm. But you know what? I just wanna add another bit to this, yeah. Go with me here. So you see, when you are looking for a job, yeah. Say you're um, you're unemployed and you're looking for a job. You go to one job interview, you don't get the job. You go to another job interview, you don't get an, you don't get that job, and you find yourself like putting yourself out there to do like to find a job, and you just keep getting told either you're not good enough or you know they've gone with somebody else or whatnot, yeah. So now that lo- that knocks a level of confidence, don't it? Because mm. now you're trying to find a job, you can't get one. And I think that for some guys in the, in this climate where it's like, all right, cool, like, man's trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to put myself out there to go and, you know what I mean? Like make something happen. You try one, you get knocked back. Try another time, you get knocked back. Try another time, you get knocked back. So you're getting knocked back all of these times now, yeah? Then the one time that you actually might something seems to have happened remember you're you know you're probably there might be a chance that like your energy levels or your um your frequency levels is a little bit lower now because of all of the knockbacks the time that you actually do seem to have an in is now probably adds to a little bit of anxiety because if this goes you don't even know when the next one's coming again do you get what i'm saying and i think that that happens more often than not like it happens more often than not if we just put push all the cap aside and all of that other shit that you know people talk about on the internet or whatnot, yeah, that happens a lot. Enough men are going fi- or finding themselves through. It's not a like cry for men type thing, but it's more just like a right when you deep it. Like, it's difficult out here to find somebody to even to just even have sex with for an average guy. You it's, know what I mean? It's, it's interesting that you say it like that because um, Cat Williams has a joke that I, I love this joke here because it applies to so many things. I can't remember which... Let alone being in a relationship with somebody. But yeah, yeah so it applies to so many things in life, but this topic in particular. So he talks about, I don't know if you've seen it yet, um, the tiger in a zoo. Okay. Yeah, so obviously they capture a tiger from the wild and then they put him in the zoo or her in the zoo. Yeah, yeah, tiger, tiger, yeah. So he's like, no one ever thinks about the perspective of the tiger. Like, <laughs> every day, people, humans are going to the zoo and calling out this tiger to come and roar. But he's thinking, yo, when I was in the jungle and I roared, yeah, everyone is running. Mm. Now I'm roaring, there's cameras in my face. <laughs> <laughs> People grinning teeth, kids waving. Mm. He's like, wait, maybe I'm a bear. And then one day, a human being climbed over and jumped into the pit for Bants. And, he's, and it's, he's, he, the joke is basically, all the tigers looked around like, yo, hey, yo, yo, this is not a drill, you know? This is food. We're not getting food off the stick no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is food actual is food. food. Listen, everyone wise up. Let's attack this food. And it gets like that. Basically, when a man sees a piece of banana bread there and the girl's showing him play, he's thinking, hold on a second. Wait, you like me? Okay. And yeah. that's when the anxiety kicks in. But sometimes you might just do too much. 
Yeah, well, that's you, that's the other element. So it's, I, I, I don't have the answer. I think the answer is just more like going out and just talking, but not basically not every single girl you talk to is a potential prospect. No. Once you get more comfortable talking to women and you just, okay, you're cool. We could just chat and you just keep it moving. Like, do you know how, I don't know if man them do this, but do you know how, not rewarded, I don't know what the word is, but when you speak to a girl and you just walk off, she's standing there like, what, you didn't ask for my Insta, my number? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I've seen it happen bare times at R&B where a man's just cool. His reason for not getting the number or asking for the Insta might be another reason. Do mm. you know what I'm saying? He might have another babes watching him like a hawk from the balcony or something. I yeah. don't know. But, that girl who's just not been asked for her number or her IG is rattled. Mm. And it goes back to your knocking confidence. It's like not every guy's going to ask for your Insta or your number either. Yeah. So on that front, <laughs> you take time as well, ladies. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it works hand in hand. Dating apps don't help either. No. Nah. So that's, a, that's another thing that will just lower the confidence. But look, the thing is, for some people, which we've spoken about here before, is that like, where if you have a job where... You are, let's say, for example, you are a carpenter or you might be a plasterer, yeah? You you work in trade. When you leave your house, the majority of the time, because that's a heavily do- male-dominated work field, yeah? So most of your colleagues are probably going to be men. And a lot of the establishments that you're going into or companies or whatnot, you're going to probably be dealing with men a lot of the time. Is, yeah? a, bu- is, is a builder's crack attractive, though? Bu- What's that? You know the build is crack. Yeah, you know, if you saw a girl, build, like, she just nah, but I think, saw in some I wood. Th- <laughs> She's got a crack eye. <laughs> like how the man I think, <laughs> I think a lot of women are probably attracted to a, a good tradesman. It's like someone who's really good at their job, yeah? But it's meeting them. Yeah. Because more time, He's in his they are rules. just, they are around men. So then, now, come the weekend, they don't know where to, they don't know where, where to go. Remember, the club scene isn't the way that it used to be anymore. Like, remember back in the day where, like, I mean, this was probably even before our time here, but when I hear some of the people that are a little bit older than us talk about how it used to be raving, you'll always hear them say, on a Monday we used to go here, then Tuesday it was Corks, and then Wednesday it was flipping, I don't know, Gas Club, and, like, they, there was a place that they would go every day or a place that you could go every day. And in that, you are going to meet people, Mm. relationships are formed through that. Like, probably a lot of relationships were formed, from a certain generation anyway, were formed through, like, social activities, being outside, you know what I mean, being in a social club or whatever. Bro, man, go on it, like, you can go on an estate now when it's quiet. Back in the day, used to be on an estate, everyone was outside. Everyone was outside by the car park or on the block or whatnot. People ain't even, even hanging on the estate really so much like that anymore. Yeah, but so where do people? Where are people meeting each other? Online. Yeah, it's but online, that's but the, the, it's that the, goes to the point of what you were saying is that yeah, it's, the just dating and paste. Don't, it's just quick. Like oh yeah, boom, no, 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 no. And with men, yeah, and with men, the chances are on the dating app if it's a swipe right thing, your thing's not popping off like that. For a woman, it like. More time she'd be swiping and whatnot, and then when she does her swipe right now, more time it's gonna be a match. A lot of Bro, the time. I, went, I, I remember when I was on dating, like, this was like years ago, because I was living in East Year, and one woman had no kids, no drug dealers, no fraudsters, no Forex traders, no this. No, but the list was like 40 lines long. Swipe left, man. <laughs> yeah. What? And, then, and it's mad because they said, yeah, that. The reason why women have started doing all of that in their bio is because they don't want to say it in convo. Oh. Yeah, so you know the convo? The how are you? What's your favourite colour? What's your favourite? They don't want to do all of that. It's all there in the bio. So then when you come to the convo, it's get straight to it. It's like... Get straight to what though? Yeah, because remember, a lot of women's um, intention on the app isn't to go do research. It's to get to know you. So I've given you everything you need to know there. I want the deeper questions. I'm like, but I don't, I yeah, don't see, know. This you. is what I would, fa- so you know what? I'm going to fail. Yeah. I'll tell you why I would fail because even in that, because firstly, that it would probably be off-putting to me anyway. But if it wasn't off-putting, I would just kind of want to, I would, I would want more meat on the bone. So let's talk about it. Why, why are you not attracted to that? Or like, what is it about that that you don't like? Because maybe you know what? She might tell me something that I might learn or might make me more attracted to her or 
you know, might make me realise that, yeah, this definitely isn't for me. Or maybe it is for me, but there's like, as long as there's reasoning for stuff, mm. if I'm interested in, enough, I might want to ask some questions about that. Do you get on what the, I'm saying? On the app, or would you uh, say, listen, here's my number, or here's my Insta, let's continue the conversation over here. Maybe on the app, my thing with, my approach would be like, not to make it too serious. So I'd yeah. obviously just be like, catching a vibe and whatever else. And like somewhere down the line, we're going to have a conversation and talk about some shit. But again, I, I would want to meet quite quickly yeah, because very if you're quickly. just speaking for months on end and then pals? you meet and you don't hear off it's long huh? we pen pals yeah exactly have, have, you had a, have you had a bad encounter? what dating? Of, no of meeting someone on a dating app I've not really done dating apps like that before you know oh, um, I had two and I just and after the two I deleted it is it yeah? I saw 6'5 I saw in the bio I didn't take it seriously I didn't think it was her height but when she walked out the train station I said there's no way this is you. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. sitting in my car. So she just looked mad tall. When she got to the car, but I could not see her from the window. I said, yeah, yeah go around and hop in. She hopped in. She's all moved the, the car back, lead the seat <laughs> back. I said, yeah, this is... <laughs> 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 I said, yeah. Huh? Same height in bed, I'm telling you. No, I hear that, but I just, I just wasn't... I just, <laughs> I <don't mind> you. <laughs> you know my Steve. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought the 65 was like a, a favourite number or something. <laughs> when I was sitting next to her, I went on her page again. I was like, wait, hold on. Oh, so you really, you really are 65. So, did you not see pictures of her and her friends or? Nah, nah. Baba, on dating apps, girls don't post pictures with their friends. Oh, yeah. Girls don't, I've noticed, girls, when girls are trying to promote themselves, they let you know. They right. either post a friend because they look nice in the picture, as in the girl in question, mm. but they don't tag the friend. Oh, there's no girls. They don't want no distractions. If you're on my page, you are here for me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's it. I like the way girls move when it when it comes to like them selling themselves. Great yeah. marketing. Great marketing. No distractions. It is me or nothing. Yeah. That's it. Don't come my DMs asking about who's that. Big man, go find her somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I, I haven't done that before. I, I did Tinder when it was like first a thing. But I think the thing that kind of stopped me from from using it so much, yeah, was one, I was going on there to see what it was about anyways. But two, I just found myself talking to like seven different people, yeah? And it just wasted, it was wasting my days. Yeah. So like, you know, I'd be talking to someone, met someone else, be talking to her, met someone else, talk to her. And then when I am get to the third one, the first one's message back, so I'm messaging her. Then it's like, I come out of that, but the second one's hit me. So then I hit her. Then the third one's hit me. So I'm hitting her back. But then the first one's hit me back. No. So I've got to come back. Then I've matched with somebody else as well. Yeah, you got to think of your answers now. Yeah, and then also i got to keep scrolling back up because I'm forgetting. What you're saying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, and then I remember just, I literally remember one day thinking, this is mad. Like half, a lot of my day has gone just speaking to, like having nothing conversations really mm. let me just make a commitment to one and then see how it goes did that didn't make it didn't do that for me so in there and also certain man on the app brother the catchment is uh, like 200 miles brother <laughs> what but i was just swiping gal in scunthorpe i know gal in derby bro yeah yeah, yeah. i can't do man that, are man. paying for the ticket just, just <laughs> swiping in different countries and that yeah yeah moving the do you know what oh, one time i was on the train yeah and i saw um I saw this guy on the phone, but you know you could I could see it in the reflection in it. Yeah. So he was on Tinder. Everything was swiping right. Yeah, it's just it's just bam, do this. bam 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 bam. Huh? Nah man. This but that it's going to the initial point of what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. The average Don, the average guy, does find it hard to kind of connect with somebody like that. Like the, the more often than not, more often than not, I don't know if I say more often than not, but it'd be a high percentage that on the app, a lady might swipe and whatnot, and then like the Don might have already swiped her on the average one. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But like for the average Don, it's like, nah. And then what then happens is, is that, you know, you get into these conversations or whatnot, or you're getting not backed. And then, so your frequency is just getting lowered each time because you're trying, you like this one, gets not back. Then you get not back again. Then you get not back again. The, like, there's been so many knockbacks that by the time you get something, it's like, it's a game of composure. 
How are you going to react in this situation? Because ultimately, you still need to act with some level of composure. And some people have none. So the composure then, you know, if you, they go out on they go out to dinner, they fumble it in conversation because maybe they, you know what I mean, they're overthinking it. Or they've done really well in the conversation and it's time now to, it looks like it might be a thing, so we might get to the slam dunking and whatnot. Now he's diving in because he's starving. You get what I'm saying? And putting the person yeah. in there. There's that. There's, there's that or, too. Like, or, you got to like you've been somewhere before. You know? Right then. Or the anxiety of, right, it's been ages since my, like, I've been naked in front of somebody. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My belly's not really, it's not flat on flat flat like it was. All of a sudden, every curve is now bigger than it is. Yeah, yeah. Even when you go to, even when you go to a girl's bedroom and she says, oh yeah, take a seat. Like, you can't just jump in there, but you got to sit on the edge first. I, like you... I don't know how it works in your house. You yeah. just sit on the edge. No, no, you can get comfortable. Like, All right, cool. So that man is walking in, bow, shoes off in the bed. Shoes, yeah. Have you been there before? <laughs> 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 and then there's the, the obviously the sex part as well, where it's now a thing where, rah, ain't had it for ages or whatnot. M- m- used to masturbation now. Mm. Your head's all over the place. You might The thing might not even be able to start. And that's the next thing. Yeah, exactly. you see if that you see if you have a moment, yeah, where that's not standing up, you're so in your head now, because you're thinking, oh shit, what's going on? Boom! Now your head's all over the place. Once you once your head's there, it's not happening now. It's not even, happening even, now. Even even thing. Like, let's go one step back, yeah. On the date, are you flirting? Do I flirt? Would on I flirt the date, on the date? Like the first date. Because remember, you don't want to go into the date. This is another thing that kicks off the anxiety as well, yeah? Man, them that go on dates, yeah, and automatically assume that they're getting some at the end. Oh, yeah. Have you not established what causes the anxiety? Pressure. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, but from who? It's all in your head. I have this thought, because it happened to me when I was growing up, but the whole idea of um, intention... If you know your intentions are not one that match hers, so she wants something serious and you want Nyash, then you're obviously and you're and you're like inherently maybe morally you want to do the right thing. And you're gonna be nervous because you're not here for Yeah, yeah but, but I'm telling you. You missed a part though. Some of that nervousness comes down to what I was mentioning before. How many times before had he been trying to go on this date? How many times? Not this particular person, but just a date. Now you get to one. Because this, look, you, if you're talking from a point of privilege where you're used to being around women and stuff like that, is your the anxiety and stuff is not necessarily going to be the same because you've been there. You speak to maybe women are your friends. You meet women. Your work in, involves being around women. You know how to deal with women. You see the, 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 like, the differences in them and you also see how common some of them can be and you know how to manoeuvre in that but you have to take yourself away from that and be like okay cool normal job around men a lot and all of this here once we get to that bit of to, of discussing and talking or whatever the anxiety don't just come just from that it's an, a sequence of things that have happened to get to this point for why this is even a thing in the first place do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Everyone's di- everyone's different. Everyone though. is different. Everyone's Some people different. handle it really well. Yeah. Some people are good at like one thing that I had always been pretty good at is faking it. Faking what that you're comfortable, you're not. Yes. So like or or feeling like just a little bit of pressure or a little bit of anxiety or whatnot. And that person would never have known. Because mm. I come in a room, boom, confident, this, that, you know what I mean? Like but in the initial stages I'm th- my stomach's a bit do you get what I'm saying like m- maybe as well there can be a bit of pressure where you might understand this yeah is that if you if you're meeting somebody who might already have an inkling about what it is that you do or whatever or they might know you a certain type of way there's a, a or there's a level of expectation now when you meet them that they think that you're going to be so let's say you're on the pod oh yeah Taser's funny he's smart he's this he's that whatever and like you meet this person and you know that they listen to you, you know that they watch you and all of that. And then now, when they meet you, they're expecting the guy that they see mm. in these moments. But for me, like, my personality has so many different dimensions. Like, 
Sometimes when I'm here, I'm loud and I'm thing or whatever. Other times I'm here, I'm mad deep or I'm like very introspective. I like I try and my mind's going all over the place. Other times I'm just quiet and I'm not really. But you might not see that so much. So the, a day that you meet me, obviously my frequency will be at a certain place. But I don't feel like being funny today, really. Or I, think I don't feel like being trying to be smart. Or do you get what I'm saying? I think that's the issue that I have with social media is that everyone's playing by different rules. Yes. That's yeah. the problem I have. Yeah. So with me, if you've ever seen me banter on my story, like banter someone, is usually someone that I know. Mm. If it's not someone that I know, then it's, it's, it's a celeb or someone who's way out there. But I'm talking about in my circle, it's usually someone that I know and I know this person will be okay with what I'm saying. So I don't, whenever people try to judge, like me and you could be bantering each other on our stories. It's public. Yeah, cool. It's public, but it's me and you bantering. And you might get someone who's just frozen in a sideways comment. I wouldn't take that comment seriously because I don't know who you are. So right. that's cool. Whereas there's some people that will take that person seriously and now cause a rift between you and your friend mm. because of what this random person said. Yeah. So everyone's playing by different rules. If I upload it, that's, that's why I'm very, when I say I wouldn't, for example, post my partner, Okay. Part of me is saying, my partner one day, part of me is saying, I need to be comfortable with said partner to the point where she knows that if I do post her, whatever comes from it is, it's not affecting us. Mm. The same way I would post my boys. When I post my boys, I don't ask them for permission. I feel like posting you today. You posted a wavy picture and reposting. If anyone has messaged them off the back of me posting their picture, none of my boys are running to me to be like, oh, who's this, who's that? Facts. Why I is she that. saying this? Why is she saying that? Or why is he saying it? They're not saying that. Whereas I find that if I post a girl, that even thing, I can speak about it candidly. The girl, that, I don't want to say her name just in case she doesn't want to. By the way, I'm in the conversation. I'm just Googling something that's in within our Oh, no, no, that's cool. So the girl that we worked with in order to do what we did with Usher, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, I posted her because I, wanted, I was bantering. Bro, she said bear traffic. How is it? <laughs> Bear traffic her way. She's like, Taser, I hope I'm not step stopping on anyone's toes. I said, how can you be stepping on anyone's toes? <laughs> I'm trying to link you. We work together. Right. But why, why am I explaining this to whoever's the part of that traffic? Do, right. do you get what I'm trying to say? So I just think everyone's playing by different rules. And when you meet the person that you're talking to, I think that's one thing people need to establish nowadays. What is your rules for how you act, work on social media? Like, I just don't want to get it confused. If it doesn't align with mine, then we need to explain that, okay, when I do this, it doesn't mean this. Yeah. When you do this, it doesn't mean this. So we're not all getting angry or anxiety is kicking in for no reason. And I find that that's what people are just playing by different rules. So it's very hard. What are you on a dating app for? You trying to find Yash? Right. You trying to find love? Yeah. If you're trying to find um, love, okay, that's not what I'm on here for. And you just like you go back to your point. You ignore it. If a girl said to me, Taser, I want a relationship and I don't want a relationship. I'm saying, all right, cool, respectfully, I'm bowing out. Oh, you don't want to get to know me and see if you change your mind? No, because that's not why I'm here. So my intention is not to mess around with you. Yeah. Or you might change, even the girls that change their mind. Uh, do you know what? I don't mind. Relationship can come down the line. No, it, what part of, that's not what I'm looking for. You're not understanding. Mm. Now when we get into it, three months, six months down the line, you're like, so you don't want a relationship yet? <laughs> now I've done the bad thing because I've gone in thinking you were okay with it. Now you're not. Yeah. So it's just, it's just, but yeah. again, it, people being transparent is the hard part. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people are not being transparent. They just say what they think you want to hear. And then it gets to the point where it's like, I can't keep saying it no more because I'm being fake to me. Then all of a sudden they, they hit you with the bombshell. You're like, well, if I knew this initially, we wouldn't have got to this stage. Right. Now I'm the bad guy for ghosting or she's the bad girl for ghosting. And Well, people just, change their mind. That's the problem. But I think not the problem. It's okay to change your mind, but... Changing your mind with communicating is the yeah, better thing yeah. to do Facts. than to just change your mind and not say shit. Because that's the next thing. Ghosting is a massive thing today. But I told you- Massive. Some, yeah, but there's some there's some instances where it's, it's fine to ghost, in my opinion. Go. If you said to someone that you're not interested in something and they, they keep trying to change your mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> this, last, this is the last text I'm sending. Like whatever you said. Yeah, you know what? It's weird because in some senses I don't even see that as ghosting, but I oh. see, but it is. But I like I look at ghosting as like we're having a good conversation and we're just chatting or whatever, and then all of a sudden <laughs> gone. Oh, I feel like I, I always think someone's from a blast on the past has returned. In yeah, them, so in, in them I, instances, right? I could I believe that I could handle ghosting all right up to a point. 
So like, if I've been talking to someone for a little period of time or whatever, yeah, and then all of a sudden she's, if I've noticed an irregular an irregular pattern, then I'm out anyway. My 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 positive trait is also my toxic trait at the same time. <laughs> no, but I've my got... positive trait is is that I'm believe I will believe elements of your body language and what you the energy that you give to me. Yeah. So if I'm into you and you're giving me this, I'm giving this. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But if I don't, because I know what it's like when a woman likes me and I know what it's like to like a woman, mm. yeah? Even though they come in different forms and it like they're expressed in certain types of ways, I know what feels comfortable for me too and what like, what puts an extra bounce in my step, which also in turn gives me a good level of confidence when I'm outside. Mm. You get what I'm saying? You know, like a woman that you like likes you. When a woman that you like likes you, or you're building something with somebody, yeah, there is a level of like an extra bounce in your step or an extra piece of confidence that you get from that. So when now I start seeing, oh, like, you know, little disappearing acts here and there or this, that and the fourth and whatnot, I'm out of it. Mm. I'm out of it. Because of what you just said, maybe there's somebody else, maybe, and I'm not going to be the person who is going to convince you in a situation where you're trying to figure out between me and him and him and him or me and him. If it's me and him and all of this, yeah, and I get an inkling that it's that, I'm just gone. Mm. Or even it doesn't even have to be that. It could be a thing of, you know what, like Do you okay, I got a question. It's just for you. all a bit weird. Do you do the same? I'm out of it. Do you but do sometimes th- I mean, sometimes I get it wrong though. That's where my toxic thing is, is that like there's times where a woman has maybe showed a certain thing to me and I've looked at it wrong and I thought, oh she thinks I'm one of like <laughs> one of them <laughs> I'm out I'm gone alright so what do you two questions the first one the same scenario that you just painted yeah for yeah. you how do you reassure whoever you're talking to the other way around so let's say she feels as if she's one of many so if I'm talking to someone and I'm vibesing with her and I like her and whatnot, yeah like my whole thing is communication and like I'll do things at FaceTime I'll just we'll FaceTime and we'll chat or we'll go and do some some things or my 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 pattern is consistent. So if I am gonna go through a period where she might not hear from me or whatever whatever it may be, I'm gonna communicate. Okay, that. Cool, cool. I'm super busy, I've got this going on or whatnot. But I'm if I like you, if I like you, yeah, I'm never too busy to at least send one message and say Babe, sorry, this is just what I've been doing. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to hit you back when blah, 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 blah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That I'm does. never too busy to do that. So if somebody is too busy to do that for me, then I just see it as, okay, yeah, maybe I'm too. not the thing. And it's okay, though. Mm. It's no, there's no hard feelings. It's okay. That's just the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just the game. I think in what you're saying, the last point you made was very important when you said it was okay. Because I think um, a lot of people, they still hold either a grudge or a gripe and then it, it shows in their behaviour mm-hmm. and they do this whole passive aggressive thing. And it's like, one thing that women do do that it annoys me sometimes is, so let's say you've had a miscommunication about something and then you've cleared your side mm. and then she's trying to clear her side, but her side's not really making sense. A lot of women don't understand that sometimes we pick our battles. So we just say, all right, it's cool. That doesn't mean you were right or wrong. I'm just saying this is not going down the route I want it to go. Let's just dead it. There's no beef. It's, it was just a stupid argument. Then they will continue with, but are you all right? Yeah, I'm cool. Now, nah, but you don't look all right. Ah, oh, babes, allow me. I said I was all right. You can't keep doing this. Are you okay? Are you sure? Is it? But because now you're going to annoy me again. So let's just stop. And I feel like that part there, they do that because they know they were wrong. So rather than address the fact that you are wrong, you wanted to put it to bed and now we have a new issue. Then it turns into, I don't like the way you spoke to me. Right. I don't oh. like the way you've been airing me. You've been a bit distant. That in school, <laughs> yeah. So I think the better way to do it, and that I'm thinking about, is I'm, maybe I'm like in an idol, from, talking from an idol perspective here, but it's like, if in, you, in your gut, you feel that an action that you have done might have caused somebody to feel some type of a way, don't ask, are you okay? Don't do that. Just say, do you know what? This happened earlier. How do you? How did you feel about that? 
There's a window though. And do you know what? Because you, you know have to what, notice yeah? it. Huh? No, but the w- as in, there's a window as in like, okay, cool. It might be like 12 hours. Talk loud. It might be like 12 hours for you to come to me and say this. Otherwise, I'm getting over it myself. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear you say, yo, like, when we like, like no, you missed it, done. I don't want to hear you. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I hear the window. Yeah, because you know why, do you know why there's a window as well? You're right, because you're basically saying, you uh, like, you know, sometimes women come to you and say stuff and you're like, I didn't see it that way. Right. So if you tell me 24 hours later that what I was going to say or what I was going to do to defend myself is gone. Yeah. I'm only, but yeah. So I'm only going by the context of what you mentioned, Yeah where you said, like, they know that something has happened, but they're asking you, are you okay? Oh, yeah. That's that. But the window thing, I hear it because, you see, in that wind, that, pe- that, that period there, how my mind works is, I've already played this out in my head and I'm getting over it now myself, yeah? So if we haven't already done that within that period of time then my mind's already done a whole bunch of other things and now I'm out of it. Yeah, I'm on, that, I'm on, I'm on the FU playlist already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, but, but what, what, be, what works better for me, maybe not for anyone else here, but is, you know what? If you have identified that maybe I'm feeling a way about something, yeah, or you know that you did something, and then you might have, you might have thought it was innocent, but something in you was saying... Is it, let me ask if he's all right. Don't ask me if I'm okay. Just bring it up. Just say, you know what? Today happened. I said this or this happened or whatnot. How did you feel about it? And I will tell you, I will tell you about me. I will tell you the truth. Mm. I might take a moment because if you say to me, how did you feel about that? I might need a, okay, let me just figure out how I'm going to formulate because I'm only going to get one opportunity to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to leave here with, I forgot some stuff. Because then I've, you know what I mean? I forgot some things now. Nah. We've made up, we've ones. made it, we've made up now. Hate those Yeah, ones. we might even all, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, oh shit, I forgot the vital it's thing. Too late now. Now I'm trying to bring, yeah, it's I'm trying to bring it up now. again for me to, no, give me a moment and I'm 100% going to tell you So how truth. do you prefer? That made me feel away because of X, Y, Z. So how do you prefer a woman to come to you when she's seen something and she's not sure what she's seen? So I'll give you an example. At the soiree, my friend bought a table, hmm. a girl, upstairs. So at some point in the night, I've gone upstairs to go greet her. Her girls are like, you know how the friendships are. It's like, oh my God, can't believe you finally made it to R&B. Do you know what? I'm going to pour you a drink. They were adamant. They were pouring me a drink off their table. I said, cool. I accepted a drink. As a thank you, let me buy you a drink. Then my friend's gone, oh, let's go to the bar. We've gone to the bar. As we've approached the bar, I believe there was no um, shift in my behaviour, but she might disagree. We've bumped into someone who's already at the bar who I've done research with previously, and she's seen me approach the bar with a girl. So she's thinking, I've seen I got, hmm. So in my mind, I'm like, it's not what you think it is, but cool, whatever. Anyway, I've bought the drink, done the drink, homegirl's gone back to her table. Now I've said hello to um, my other friend. Yeah. Hmm. And then she's gone, you didn't have to hide. But I didn't hide though. You know, it's that I didn't have to hide like like I hid somewhere or went to another bar. I stayed at the same bar. I bought the drinks. I paid for the drinks. We done the shot. She left and I've approached you. So did, did you have a problem with what I did? No. So why did you say I didn't need to hide? I was just saying. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you thought you saw something. There was no shift. Like, for example, if I saw her and I ducked, I understand. She's going to be like, oh, you're doing something you're not supposed to do. Everything played out in front of you. And then you've said that. So clearly there's something up. But then if I bring it up, it will go into something that is well, not. But, but she's, she's brought it up to you, yeah? Yeah, she's come to, like, literally well, straight Well, ultimately, up. when you, de- like, in principle, it's played out how it's supposed to play out yeah. because she's identified in her mind that something happened. Yeah. You've told her that it's not that. You've communicated that in a certain way. What's really supposed to happen after that is suck that up and keep it stepping. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Suck that up and keep it going. You've, you've addressed it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but they don't. It's my point. They don't suck it up. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Man. That's Maybe, where you have the problem. Yeah. Maybe the look you gave her was one of like... Look I gave who? So when, you, so when you're going with the girl and the other girl has seen you, yeah. 
maybe the initial look that you gave her made her feel normal. Like she wasn't. How am I supposed to? Yeah, but how am I supposed no, to? I'm like, I'm like, for example, do you know, like, if you see a thing, so you want to see panic? No, 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 not panic. I'm like, if you see a guy, he's got, he like, he, like a guy that you researched with, and you just like you're walking with another guy, and you see the other guy, and you go, and you just like, like you smile. Or you no, no, but she, no, but we were at the same bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not like I left. We were at the same bar. I did what I finished what I was doing with her. She left, and then I've gone to her like, oh yeah, you're right. What's going on? Do you want a drink too? Right. right, right. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> I'm at my event, you know. <laughs> Where am I hiding? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying, like. Come on, man. But in those scenarios, I can see how it could turn into a big argument. Yeah. But, I'd, I'd be, but I've been there, I've been doing nightlife for 12 years. I've seen that play out so many times. So in my mind, I'm like, it's not what you think it is. And even if it is, you have to credit me for being so brazen. Yeah, face. strong. That's strong. <laughs> strong. But, strong. 100%. But you know what? Anyway, yeah, even just, I think, yeah, that there is something powerful about addressing a problem with somebody that you have something with, but not like a, a trivial thing. If you two have a, a genuine connection or whatever, yeah, and or whatever that might be, and you see something that is a bit off, but you go to them and you say to them, right, right what was that? Like, not on a, an attacking thing, but like, what was that about kind of thing? And then you realise after them explaining it that it didn't sit right with you. For me, there is something powerful about saying, you know what? That made me feel away. I didn't like that. That made me feel away. Because <clears throat> for me, we can have an op there's an opportunity for us to sit and discuss it or whatnot. But I think also, it just takes an, a little bit of energy off my shoulders because I know what I'm like. If I don't say that and, I've, and I do feel some type of way, this is just going to hover around me for a little mm, while. But at least now, yeah, when I'm telling you that this makes me feel away, if you check for me enough, you're going to learn something today. You get what I'm saying? You're going to learn that maybe, whatever it m might be. But ultimately, there's there's a, a, a way to iron this thing out, potentially. and Or either we just kind of just realise that this is not, we can't thing, and then we just go separate ways. But, but for me, I've always felt like, anytime I've ever sat down with somebody and said, and it doesn't have to be in a relationship, it could just be friendship. I did this with somebody that we know. I sat down and I said, my immediate thing was, I feel a way. Why? Because I noticed this, I noticed that, and I noticed this, and I noticed that. And that, that, that made me feel uncomfortable, and I'm trying to understand why, it, why we've got here. So, in, in fact, in that situation, I felt a way because your feelings were hurt and you never said anything to me. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, I, and it hurts me that I upset you that way. But let's talk about it. Don't just do the silent thing on man or whatnot. Yeah. Because I know we know each other enough to be able to have that. Because what we could do is we could just continue and play like it doesn't exist. And I could come to you and I could say to you, are you all right? You could pretend that you're okay. Yeah, because just... the, the, sometimes the are you all right is, is the equivalency of when you go to somebody who you have a feeling is going through some financial struggles and you say, do you want me to cover that? Don't do that. If you have an inkling that somebody might potentially be going through a little something, yeah, and that is something on the menu about covering it, just say, no, nah, I got that. Mm. I got that. Don't worry about that. I got that. It's up to them for them to be adamant and say, nah, 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 nah. It's cool. I, it's cool. Trust me, I got it. All right, cool. But nah, just, just say. Don't say to them, oh, like, do you want me to pay for that? Or do you want me to help you out? Or no. Um... You see that thing there? All right, but just to dig a little deeper, because someone came to mind here. Yeah? If someone you're talking to does something you don't like, right. depending on where you are, sometimes I feel like, so there's two parts to this um, question. Sometimes I feel like you're not in a place to tell that person what you d do and don't like sometimes. Right. It's right. still a bit too early, yeah. yeah? But let's say it's jarring you, so you have to say. And then they turn around and say, yeah, but these other guys like it. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. What? I'm out of here. No, no, I hear you, but my point is like, if a, if someone said to me, yo, Taze, I don't like when you do that. And then I turn around and say, yeah, but Charlene and Keisha likes it. You'd look at me like I was mad, no? That's crazy. I don't want, like, that's crazy. That's bonkers even do that. Care for me specifically. Like, my needs are my needs. Do you know what I mean? No, but, but you don't think is, here's my thing. You don't have to do that. What do you mean? You don't have, you don't, like, you don't have to 
put my Change. feelings. Yeah, 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 you don't yeah, have to yeah. do that. I'm just letting you. I'm know. just letting you know that this makes me feel some type of way. I'm, and how you how you decide to deal with that yeah, is completely yeah. up to you. But if you are, because if, if you if you check for me enough, if you check for me enough, you will address it a certain type of way, or you know what I mean. The we, there's a there's a there's a common ground that we can reach. But if you don't, or you feel strongly enough about what it is that you've done, that's okay. Yeah. It just means it's not going to work for me. Yeah, I'm up. That's but fair. then it also it goes into your negotiables, your non-negotiables, like how deep is it really? Like sometimes there's certain things where it's like, you know what, that ain't for me, but it's not enough for me to tell you that I don't want to check for you or I don't want to have dinner with you or I don't want you around. I just didn't like that. But anyway, I just want to go back to this anxiety thing quickly because this is what I was searching, yeah. <laughs> Um, the male anxiety I'm on very well mind you can maybe pull it on the screen yeah, I'm just um, so it's very, very well mind and then men's anxiety yeah it says well this is more on sexual performance so what is sexual performance anxiety the thing is here though this is not specific to men are they trying to sell find. you something let me see if I can find one that is specific to men. Men performance anxiety. Um, how to help your guy with performance anxiety? Can male performance anxiety be cured? It can be cured. It's behavioral therapy. They're saying mindfulness. Um, but I'm trying to find like bullet points of things like what causes it. So yeah, but I don't think this is specific to men, no. Uh, like having body, do you think so? Yes. Yeah, having body image and self esteem issues. Yeah, that's not specific to men. Are you crazy? No, but I don't think I don't think any anything to do with sex would be specific to men. I think some will be more men than women. Okay, okay, let's go. Go. Okay, go to the top. How much more would you say that is men? Which one? Women? The first Percentage one. Wise, having body image and self esteem issues. I would say that's more women. I would disagree. Do you? Yeah. Go. I, I would say it's more men. I would say more men simply because. Oh, okay, I know. The, the man needs to hear that. His penis good. is, yeah. Yeah, that I'm good. The size is size. Yeah, size is, yeah, 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 size is, yeah is that's true. I hear you. you. I hear you. Slime, more time. Yeah, you dick size. Your own sauce, but if she don't, she's not feeling it. Yeah, dick size. Then, then that's your. Yeah, and that's a big convo because women are always screaming, it's got to be. It's not the motion in the ocean, it's the size of the boat. No, they, they, no, they sometimes. It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's cap though. Yeah, of course it's cap. Because do you know why it's cap as well? Because some of the people that are saying that don't actually know what they want. No, I know. They just have an idea of what they think they want because of what they've seen. Some of them don't just don't want too big, but they want a um, size. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. A bit of girth in there, why not? Yeah, a little bit of girth. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed that mine don't bend to the left now. What is going on here? What, because Philly says his one's bent to the left? No. Right, is that what Philly says? Does Philly scream that? <laughs> Only you and Philly say that. I've, I, 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 anything, anything to do with that bending to the left? I only hear it from nah, Chucky you know or Philly. What? I kind of, I think a be, Do you know what? Why if do you I want it to bend to, go, to the left, bro? Right then. But why do you want it to bend somewhere? Because I heard like when you speak to women, sometimes they say that the curvy, the bend, the bending does a madness. I think it's just as long as it it touches the the inside the surface. Yeah. Some man are in there. There's no surface touching. It's crazy. <laughs> I might try and manually bend mine. I might try and manually bend mine. As in, I don't know, like, what if you, like, like I don't know. Bro. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Dr. No, I'm Miami, joking, you know. I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, feeling um, emotionally disconnected from your partner. Feeling emotionally disconnected. That's both? Nah, that's got to be more women. Though. It's more women? I think that's more no, but, wait, okay, okay. It could be more women because women are vocal. But men are definitely there, bro. Feeling emotionally disconnected from your partner. Yeah. Because remember, it's not just sex. There's the emotional side. So if I'm having sex with my girlfriend, I feel like she's not here, but it's just cheek shaking. Nah, but I'm not just talking about relationships. Bro, the common misconception or the common discussion is that women need to feel something and men can just chop. The reason men can just chop is because of that. And also it's, it's an- Because of what? They're not connected emotionally. Yeah, but that's, we're talking about anxiety here. Okay, wait, well, I'm so- talking about what causes anxiety. So feeling emotionally, dis- I get what you're oh, saying now. Okay, feeling okay, emotionally okay. disconnected okay. from your partner is something that is more men. I understand yeah. that. But I'm talking about in regards to provoking anxiety. Okay, right. So men 
having sex with a woman that they're not emotionally disconnected to isn't what causes them to have anxiety. Okay. It causes women to have anxiety more time. Okay, lack of sexual experience is a good one. So just to be... Huh? Lack of sexual experience. Who are dealing with mental health conditions. No, the one before, the one below that. No, but we can't, let's not skip, bro. Oh, so no, I thought we were just speaking of what... Oh, I thought it was reading <laughs> yeah, all of them, So the audio listeners can't see. Um, dealing with mental health conditions. That's an interesting one, that. That's an interesting one, that. I think that's... Um, that's both, and but but for different reasons. Yeah. So like, um, what are the reasons? Some women might be just after childbirth, mm. right? Like having to juggle being a mum and being a partner must be a very difficult thing, especially yeah. if the man's making it seem as if, oh, but well, you've been pregnant for nine months. I ain't had none. Yeah. Now the baby's not there. Like, like, can we try? She's like, whoa, that's that's the last thing on my mind. <laughs> so there's that too. You just you just um, brought something interesting into the equation go into body image and self-esteem issues. Now, yeah. albeit that there are a large percentage of women who do not or haven't had a child yet, that's a massive one for women who do have children yeah. because that body changes drastically and there's a lot of stretch marks. The body, they some of them get a lot bigger. There's just a lot going on. And I think speaking to maybe a man who is in a relationship with a woman who's had a baby would probably find that there must be a, a element of change in that. Or even a woman who's just come out of a relationship too, because there must be times where like, a woman has come out of a relationship, right? In mid-pregnancy, and now they've met somebody else, like a little bit later on down the line, say the, the youth could be a little bit, one, two, one, whatever it may be, yeah. But then it's like, they've met, they've met somebody when they're basically fresh out of their pregnancy with the stomach doing this and the legs and like, that's got to be really tough. But again, I'm not talking about women today. I'm just, I'm just talking about what, um, what would affect men more. Dealing with mental health conditions. I mean, yeah, lot, depression. A lot of guys are going through some shit. Um, yeah, dep- if you ain't got money in your bank account. Huh? I was just thinking. You that. ain't trying to have sex like that. I was just All the sex you're trying to have is not going to be like as fulfilling. Because as soon as you hit that nut, you remember your bank out saved 39 pence. 100%. I, re- I went through a really, like, time, a bad time where I was, I keep referring to it here, but I was just going through a mad period at the time. And I met somebody and, bro, my head was just not in it, bro, at all. And we still were having, like, these sexual encounters and that, yeah, but it was making it worse. Mm. I'll be honest with you. It was making it worse. And then in the end, I had to ghost her. But then, you know, I've told this here before. I'll tell it here another day, but it's just not for today. But later on down the line, I reached out to her and had a, a proper conversation with her about that because, boy, it was mad. But um, lack of sexual experience. 100%. Boy, that is definitely, because women can just essentially, in the worst case scenario, which is not even worse, but you can just lie there, really. I, I think it's more women that Lack of sexual experience. Yeah. You can, you can explain. I can no, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I know. You why have to you expand. I know why you would say that. I think if you if a woman is having sex and she doesn't and she hasn't got sexual experience, and let's say you don't know or you go soft, for whatever your reasons are, she might think, "Is it me?" Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, lack of experience as well. Not knowing what reactions... What not to do. What not to do, what to do, what to expect. Like, for me, I know that like, if the sheets stick to me... Oh, he's sweating. Hot, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not finishing this. But like, I have, I've had to communicate that to my partner to be like, right, if your room's cooking... Are you not on it? I can't perform, bro. Mm. Oh, so okay. Let's go do you. Mm. Your room's... You can't perform. But, okay, we'll add in the fact of... Um, was it premature ejaculation? Mm. Yeah, so, there's that. So there's that. So a man who is not sexually active or has a lot of sexual experience, even though they're too different because you could have a lot of sexual experience and pre um, premature ejaculate all the time. That's actually an issue that some people have. That could play a lot in your mind where you're thinking, I haven't had sex. I've not had sex all year. I ain't had sex for God knows how long. Mm. I'm about to do this. I'm scared to death 
that when I go inside, I'm going to nut quick. So you Which leads it. into the, the lack of experience. But also though, with that being said, premature ejaculation is a whole different thing. And that probably leads to, I don't know if that's on there, but that if, it's, if this is tailored to men, that's what would contribute to anxiety. 100% coming fast. Yeah, but do you no, know no, that every, no, but everyone, there's only so many times you can say what you're about, you're thinking. What's that? There's only so many times you what can say. What was I going to say? Yes. Oh, were well, you going to say like the coochie's great? No, 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 no. Oh, what? <laughs> no, I was going to say That's that. That's a big um, problem. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say um, even those that have loads of sexual experience, that doesn't necessarily mean they know what they're doing either. That's true. That's true. Yeah, so. That's true. Premature the, ejaculation, though. You might want to get up a study on that quickly. But, um, that's a big thing. But what else, what else is there? Feeling stressed, uh, previous negative sexual experiences, trauma. That would probably be more women, right? I would say yes. Yeah. Over consuming. Oh, pornographic content. Yeah, that's men. Yeah, man. That's because mental bro, like, bare times, like people watch porn and try to replicate what they see, and it's like, I'm not a porn star. Mm. I don't need what. Whatever he, what's his name? Don't Whatever his name is. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, Anton Harden. I, I don't need what he <laughs> needs. <laughs> I'm an average man from <laughs> Northwest, <laughs> man. Hey, I don't need hey, what don't play with him, needs, you know, bro. Like you know, like when you, like, I don't need that. Like I'm good. <laughs> no, but also the overconsuming is you get too used to it as well. So now when it's time to have sex with somebody else, you're, you can't even, you might not even be able to get an erection. And also, your hand. On a, another thing is the sounds. So you see like, for example, when you're watching porn, I don't know whether it's fake or not, whether the woman's enjoying it or not, because at the end of the day, there's that whole argument of this is work. So it's not exactly what you think it is, but you could be watching porn and thinking, right, every time he does this, the girls moan. Then now you go do it and the girl's not moaning. You're thinking, right, is, are you broken or something? Yeah. You start upping the speed and it's just like, she's telling you, yo, relax. It's like, oh, but that's not what I saw in the Yeah, porn. exactly. So there's that too. But yeah, there's a lot of people that put people in uncomfortable positions or situations because they've seen it in porn. So they think that, that person, that's what that person wants. Also, it's like, what's your category? Because your category now <laughs> could be a whole madness now. This is what you're watching. Oh, you're to and then you're just that. trying to bring this into an ordinary situation. That's mad. I'm sure the people have got all kinds of mad horror stories when it comes to that type of stuff. Go to premature ejaculation quickly. Just see what comes up mad quick. What were you looking at? Men's health. It's going to be anxiety as well. Um, how do I get over premature ejaculation? Go to maybe causes. Why have yeah, I? Yeah, don't run down here. Might be CMOS. Just throwing it out there. Causes of what's so behavioural techniques. Keep going. Are your kegels, man? Yeah, see, pop flex size. What I tell you? No, but I want to know causes. These these are solutions. Oh, okay. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. The first tab, on the left. Yeah, yeah. Symptoms okay. and yeah. causes. Overview. Always or nearly ejaculate within. There you one. go. Okay, symptoms. That's, uh, symptoms. Uh, lifelong premature ejaculation. Lifelong. Brother. Um, premature ejaculation occurs all or nearly all over, all the time, beginning with the first sexual. Oh, encounter. this is symptoms. So basically, this is symptoms. You got to go down for causes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Early sexual experiences, sexual abuse, poor body image, depression, um, worrying about premature ejaculation. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to. Though, What's that? The fact that you premature ejaculate, you worry about premature ejaculating and then you're consistently premature ejaculating. Yeah. You're worrying about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Listen, I, rem I remember, yeah, someone had rang me one day and said to me, that, oh no, it wasn't premature ejaculation. It's different. It was, they weren't, they weren't able to get an erection. Erectile and, dysfunction. And like, this person was in a relationship. So this person had said to me, rah, like, I uh, fumbled the thing and it really played on his head bad. 
it played on his head bad. And I remember saying to him, brother, like you've been in a relationship for a little while, yeah? Like how, how often has this happened? He said like, li- literally that was like the first time then. I was like, big man, you just got to tap into what you was doing when you was the smokers. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like she ain't forgotten that. Your missus ain't forgotten. Just because one day, yeah, that it didn't rise or whatever. She didn't forget what you did last week or the week before that or the month before that or whatever. She ain't forgotten that. You just got to tap back into that. But then like, also, it goes back to what EA was saying. She's got, she's got to communicate that because she might have done something. What's that? She might have done something. What do you mean? Different. She might have done something different? Yeah. Not, not putting the, not, not to, it's not a blame thing. I'm just saying that something might have gone wrong. From, from both parties because one of my boys is in that same situation where he just he called me one time he was like bro like the reason why my girl's on to me is because we haven't really been having sex recently but her getting on to me doesn't help so so oh him, yeah of course yeah so him knowing that if he doesn't perform his girl's gonna immediately get on to him is scaring that's him that's causing anxiety yeah so but one of it was um, he wanted to join the gym and she was opposed to him joining the gym because she, she kept on saying I like how chubby you are but he didn't want to be chubby he wanted to be lean and ripped but then later on down the line we've come to find out that the reason why she liked him chubby wasn't because she liked him chubby it's because she didn't want other women looking at him oh that's crazy <laughs> yeah but you know, but when you don't know what it like my man's trying to glow up and you're, you're just overfeeding man in the yard telling him to come and stay over so he doesn't go out or that he's not understanding what's going on he's just realising I'm not the same me anymore and to the point where he's like I, I'll still with my girl but I don't even want to chop anymore so it's like what's going on nah there's, pro- there's deep yeah, problems it was, it was toxic it was toxic I can't lie there's deep problems they broke up anyway yeah I'm not surprised about that yeah 100% and good for her um, too. She needed it as well. She needed to move on and find someone that she was happy with. Yeah. True. <laughs> um, it's stress, I man. I, I think the key point is stress. I think the key thing is stress. But yeah, anyway, I just thought today, while we were here, we should just highlight the fact that like there is definitely a lot of performance anxiety going on. But there's also just a lot of anxiety in regards to the dating world from a guy's perspective too. Because, boy... The initial point was is that it's not as fluid as people think that it is for average people, for an average guy in particular. <clears throat> the average guy is not having sex like that or <laughs> meeting women like that because it is difficult. It's very, very, very difficult. It's very difficult, bruv. Mm. Like, what job are you in? Like, what, where, like, how are you encountering, encountering people? It's so quick on the internet. It's still like fast food. Like, and, and also, I'm not going to go into this whole thing about like, you know, the percentages of, because I, I know that was like a big thing of like, women. Women do tend to go for what is seen as a small percentage of men within that, that demographic or whatever. But I do think that there's a lot of women out there that are just trying to find themselves a nice, good, average guy who makes, you know, an okay amount of money or whatnot. I do genuinely believe that or are open is open to doing that. But it's just, it's maybe hard for people to connect as much as they, as much as they used to now. And I don't know where the, um, like which era was the better one because now we can all look at what we don't want, which is good. And, and what we do want. Whereas back in the day, at one point, it was like, you know what? Your community just basically matched you together. Mm. People weren't really outside like that. You just met somebody, you got together, and within months you were married and you just cracked on and built your home and whatever. The new, the new but gen- enough times people ended up with people that they didn't even really want to be with. My, my, granddad, my grandmother didn't like, like, she loved my granddad, but I weren't a guy like that. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? I'm sure there was another man in the village, yeah? That she was lusting over. Yeah, but but also someone you're lusting over doesn't necessarily mean that they're good for you. No, that's true. But in her mind, because mm. f- that's the forbidden fruit or whatever it is, you think that that might be it, and you think, well, look, man, like in different times, I wouldn't be with this guy. Maybe you that it wouldn't have worked out with that guy either. But it definitely wouldn't have been this guy. It's interesting to see. Like, I want to I want to have more conversations with um, people that are married this year, just to figure out how they 
like like the new gen, not old people who've been married for years. I'm talking mm. about like people my age that married for like two years, three years, just to see like how they got to that happy medium of accepting. Cause I f- there's a lot of jargon online that makes it seem as if like, for example, when you hit, um, l- life is ups and downs, isn't it? Mm. So when you hit your down, is your woman there for you? Yeah, so some women, are, some women are making it seem as if there's never gonna be a down. Don't wish that on me. Did it? Yeah, cool, that's fine. But r- reality is, there's gonna be a down, and are you gonna be that support system for him, and vice versa, mm. vice versa? So I just want to, when people that are married that've been together two, three years and they've gone up and down, I just would like to know like what was it that kept you going? Yeah, because it's in yeah. different forms, isn't it? It's like if they're financially down, super low, um, things ain't working out for them. Are you gonna ride? A lot will. Forget the forget Twitter. There are pe- people will go on Twitter and say all kinds of shit. In real life, in real life, if they meet someone, they like someone, they've been with them for a certain period of time, they might moan about it, but they they will. A lot of them would ride for a piece. I like to um, think that. I would like to think that too. Maybe I'm just living in a world where it isn't like that. But also, the other side is, you know what? You're with someone for a little bit, and their body changes. You know what I mean? They get a little bit older, or. Mm. You know what I mean? They're going through a, 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 bit, a stage where she's a bit mentally fragile through whatever reasons. Can you handle that? Also, is that a bad thing? What's that? To leave? No, no, no. I saw a tweet, uh, a post. It was a girl. It was a woman on TikTok, a white woman, and she was crying in her car. And she was very angry about how fickle I think some of her friends were. Where um, I, think she had, I think she had lost some weight or she'd put on some weight I don't know mm-hmm. I can't remember which way it was yeah but she had her friends basically saying to her that oh my god like you look better so you must be better to hang around with mm-hmm. and she was like what's my looks got to do with whether you're chilling with me or not and she yeah. didn't understand and she was like if people are in this whole thing as in loving people just because of how they look that I don't want none of you lot around me like, she was proper crying she was proper passionate about it yeah and I was thinking, yeah, but part of it is that though. Like, whether people like to admit or not, how you look definitely influences how people treat you, whether you want to admit it or not. Mm. So when you fall in love, that plays a part. So if you know, but people make it seem as if the love reaches a point where you don't care what this person looks like. So I'm asking, when is that? When do you reach that point? Where I don't, like, you see that, for example, family. Mm. You love your family regardless of what they look like. Yeah, but that's family. It's like people say you can't pick it. Love as well, isn't it? Yeah, different. So that love, where it's like your partner. At what point do you like? When do you reach that point where it's like I don't care what you look like. I'm loving you forever. Is there? Is that really a thing? thing. That's a feeling thing. That's a feeling thing. That's a um, going through some stuff together thing. That is like you're on a journey together, and the journey just becomes so much deeper than the appearance of what someone. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you definitely have to go through some stuff. Yeah, I don't think if you ask, I don't think you'd get an honest answer for somebody who's been married for two years. It's got to be longer. Yeah, it's got to be a long period of time still. I've got to wait then. Um, anyway, that was we wasn't even supposed to pod, really. We podded for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. But yeah, we actually genuinely wasn't even supposed to pod. We just came here to do something different. But um, you got a conversation about... Um, male anxiety within dating and um, sexual experiences. So I would like to hear in the comments or even you can just message us, whatever, just your thoughts on it. Obviously women are included in this too, but what if you are gonna message me or you are gonna leave comments, you probably would have done it already anyway because there are some people that just like watch and be reading, like doing a comment thing as they're watching. But, but like I do, even if it's from a woman, I want your perspective on what you think from a male's position, mm. not your own. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's not not about you today. <laughs> yeah. After you lot do that, um, whether you're watching or you're on the audio, do subscribe to my YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been sitting on five and a half K for time. Is it? Yeah. We'll yeah, man. Get me to 10 K or something, man. Yeah, man. You're seeing bare behind the scenes. Just do this now. Do this. Oh yeah, just do this. He's pointing down, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, go subscribe, go leave comments. I've got loads of um, content behind the scenes. Uh, me and Chucky R&B, that's pretty much what my YouTube is now. Yeah. Just behind the scenes, us traveling and um, 
I'm trying to find creative ways to kind of chop up this uh, um, footage, bro. I've got bare footage, bro. I know. I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah. there. Yeah, man. It's just there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, just, just, yeah, break him um, off something and he's good, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, go follow Taser Black on YouTube. Obviously, I've, I'm guessing the links will be in the description or pop up somewhere on the screen.